Hardy remembers the moment back in July of 2018. I still remember it like it was yesterday. When she found out her youngest two daughters were diagnosed with two different illnesses, both within the same month. I think a couple of days later, we found out what Joy's diagnosis was. And literally two days after, I get a call from the clinic saying that my newborn also had sickle cell. Just days after giving birth, the couple had to rush their second youngest daughter, Joy, to the emergency room, where she was later diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I remember being so upset and asking God, you know, why did you let this happen? What did I do to deserve this? Both girls were referred to Children's Minnesota for treatment, where they also received financial resources from hospital programs after dealing with a few setbacks and a loss of work. So I, I remember rents coming up and I said, geez, we're going to be like $800, all, you know, back. We can't even afford that, you know. While they credit family, and the extra help from the hospital. Dr. Susan Sensor with Children's Minnesota is encouraging people to give back to help families like the Hardys. It's meal tickets while their kids are in the hospital, parking vouchers, or mortgage help, which is, I believe, something that the Hardys were able to take advantage of. And we couldn't do that. You know, that's not something that insurance pays for. That's been the community at large. Everything just worked out perfectly, and that was such a relief. While the Hardys are thankful their daughter Joy is in remission, they're staying positive and hopeful for the future. In Minneapolis, Charmaine Nero, CARE 11 News. So much for one family. If you'd like to help out families like the Hardys, we've included information on how you can donate for Give to Kids Day at CARE11.com.